Hey what's up it's Hugo here, today I'm going to show you how to add some cool effects to your Mac desktop and uh, most of these effects are already fairly known in the Linux slash Ubuntu operating system uh, and there are little effects such as these and wobbly windows like uh, so if I make this a little bit smaller like that pretty cool huh um, now this little application is called desk covery desk covery pretty cool name for it but uh, it's made by a company called Neo Mobili which I think is a French company and uh, it's available for $25 uh, and if you live in Europe uh, 20 euros and they do have a, a trial here uh, if you do want to now the few of the key features here they have is first of all save time you can find windows quickly align windows quickly resize in one click uh, focus on your workspace support and have fun which is the most important of course uh, now let me just quickly show you the preferences in here uh, these are the preferences from here you can pretty much set up everything disable effects enable effects uh, the first one we have is enable uh, wobbly windows effect which is obviously quite straightforward uh, now if you have a smaller window for example really small picture I have here you'll see that the effect is also greater um, it's actually pretty cool so uh, yeah that's that next up we got enable windows list now you can set on the left or right and what this does for example I have another find a window open and if I hover my mouse over the left side of my screen you'll have this little thing popping up uh, and from here I can select which window I want to have on my foreground which is also quite cool now if it's really handy I don't know since you do have expose already built in your Mac and uh, depending on how you set that up it can you can use it very effectively uh, but it still can be uh, cool. I mean, it's quite you know, it doesn't take as much space on your screen as expose, uh, and you can have it on the left or right. And that's pretty cool. Next up is show Windows list on Alt Tab. So that's also fairly straightforward. If I pl if I hold Alt and then just go Tab, it will uh, pretty much whenever I release, it will bring that window to the foreground. And you can also do it with your mouse if you prefer. Uh, that works too. Enable zoom button actions. Now these uh, are pretty cool. Uh, they work on every window and if you click and hold on the plus button you have a lot of cool options that weren't here before. Now you can uh, resize and align your window in tons of different ways vertically uh, to the side exactly to take exactly half of your screen or simply 100% full screen. Uh, you know you can a lot of different options and they can be really handy depending on which situation you're in uh, you can also have it so that it's uh, half transparent and one last cool thing is uh, this well this is kind of a big example of it let me just make a, a, a little bit smaller here is uh, minimize it in a, a really small uh, tab here or just you have a top bar and that's pretty much all you have now sometimes you have these little weird glitches to them which I don't understand why uh, but if I would disable it and do it again, it would probably work. Yes, there you go. Now it has this uh, cool little shadow effect to it. Uh, it's, it's fairly handy, but I don't know why you would use it that much. Uh, but yeah, other than that, the resizing options are really cool and you, I definitely use them a lot, especially if you want, for example, to have them uh, exactly 50% of your screen uh, and pretty much move files from window to window. That can be very handy. Dandy. Next up is enable magnetic windows. That's pretty simple. As soon as you get close to a corner, you'll see that it will automatically uh, stick to the edge. So it's magnetic. Uh, next up, we got title bar double click. Now you can do nothing with that. Make it full screen, minimize the title bar or center. Now this, not, this does not work with uh, Google Chrome, or at least doesn't seem to work. It does work with any other window, to be honest. Uh, if you double click the title bar it will automatically center the window or you can say uh, minimize to title bar so if I double click it it becomes really small uh, you can also make it full screen so that is just like that so that's pretty much totally up to you uh, what I don't like about it is if I double click it again it's not gonna make it to the official size I had it before which uh, I'm not really a big fan of but uh, that's pretty much what it does um, I think it's pretty handy to minimize it to title bar because then you have multiple stuff and quite cool to organize stuff show menu bar icon that's pretty uh, straightforward 
Spaces transition, you can have multiple effects. You have cube, fade, slide, zoom, flip. Flip is pretty cool as well. If I change spaces, it flips my screen. You have a few other effects there. Uh, transition durations and level. Transparency level, I'm sorry. And if you want to start at log on or not, which I highly recommend because you, of course, want this every time. You don't want to start up the application every time. Uh, one last thing I want to show you is shortcuts. Now, the shortcuts don't always seem to work. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. It depends for what you set them up. But uh, I've had some issues with them where they just don't work. Um, so I'm not sure if it's a great thing to use them. They can be used for uh, certain things if you like to have screenshot. But me, it just hurts my brain to <laughs> remember even more things. So I don't do that. But I think it's still a fairly cool application. Uh, the only thing I would like to see as well is if I change spaces, that would automatically apply this effect. Right now you can only have the effect if you click on this thing in your dock, which I'm not a huge fan of. But yeah, you know, everybody can have some improvement. Unfortunately, this is not available on the Mac App Store, only through their website. Yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know on how to have these cool little effects. Ubuntu, wannabe-ish, ness, ossity. I'll thank you a lot for watching this episode. If you have any questions um, about this, you can ask me, even though I don't probably know much more than what I showed you. But I'll try to do my best to answer all of these. Thank you a lot for watching once again. Be sure to check out my channel for more cool stuff. Yes. Peace.